Hi everyone, this is Andrew Time. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this MacBook Pro 2018 15 inch with the touch bar. And this particular MacBook won't be able to log in. So I've tried logging in in dozens of different ways. So the computer does switch on. So it looks like the operating system is loading, but it's not really getting very far. It's going to go into the login screen. If I type in the password and press enter now, it's either going to get stuck here or it's going to go into kernel panic and restart the machine. The other issue with this computer is that it can't load the recovery menu. If I hold down command R when I start the computer, it's just going to crash. I've tried going into the diagnostics menu uh, by holding down D when the computer starts and it just crashes when I do that. I've tried single user mode where I hold down command S. Uh, as the computer starts and it just crashes there too. I've even tried booting externally from a clone of a Catalina Mac installation, but that also causes it to crash. So every single method I've tried to access this data has failed. And it's quite important at this stage that we get some important client data on here. There's no solid state drive that I can just pull out of the machine. It's all soldered into the computer and we don't have the necessary tools to extract the data straight from the logic board here. What I'm going to show you today is the target disk mode. Target disk mode allows one computer to access the data of another computer. And even if that computer is not actually booted into the operating system. So in order to do this, I've employed my M1 Apple Silicon MacBook Air 2020. So the very first thing you're going to need is a Thunderbolt USB-C cable. So this one I've got here is a Ugreen USB-C Thunderbolt cable. So this particular type of cable is required. You can't just use a regular USB-C cable, especially if we're having a computer which uses Big Sur like this Apple Silicon Mac. This connection between the two computers requires a Thunderbolt cable. So make sure you get one. I'll leave a link in the description for this particular one. It's very high quality braided, strong cable, and it's got very high quality connectors here too. So this USB-C Thunderbolt cable is now connected between the two computers. What I'm going to do now is to boot this computer into target disk mode. So what we need to do is when we press the power button is hold down the T key. So I'm going to press the power button then hold down the T key and then the target disk mode should activate. So that icon means um, Thunderbolt cable is connected. So it's prompted us for a password here and that just means that this particular storage volume is being mounted here and because we are using file vault it's prompted for a password so this is normally just the user password of that computer so i'm just going to type this password in now so once the volume is mounted which might take a bit of time because the computer is decrypting the data from here we have a standard macintosh hd in an orange symbol so that kind of means that it's interpreted this as an external drive. So I can just double click on this and I can open the standard Macintosh HD kind of operating system parent level of data. So in my users folder, that's really what I'm interested in. I want to be able to clone the data as well as get the user folder out too. And ideally what I want to do is pull everything out as much as possible and as complete as possible. So what I'm going to do is to use an application called Carbon Copy Cloner, and I'm going to clone it onto this My Passport one terabyte hard drive, which I have handy. I've got this attached via my handy QGeme USB-C hub, which I have reviewed in a different video. So please click on the link in the description for the link and the review for this particular hub, which is fantastic. So this data is now accessible. What I'm going to do is open Carbon Copy Cloner. So Carbon Copy Cloner is a free application to use for 30 days. So I'm going to trial this now and it's enough for us to be able to actually access all the data that we need to and do everything we need to do within the 30 days. We're only going to use it for one day. Um, what we need to do is establish the source. So what I want to do is clone this data onto this hard drive here. So the source is going to be the uh, orange Macintosh HD. So I'm going to click on that. So it's asking us now for the password of the computer that we're trying to copy the data from. So now I'm just going to select my destination, which is this My Passport drive, which is called Backup. So I'm going to click on here, click on the destination, and click the Backup drive here. So it's asking us again for the password for this computer. 
So I'm just going to set that now. So to be very clear, we've got the Macintosh HD from this computer. We're going to have got this backup as the destination. And what I'm going to do is press clone, and that's going to clone all the data from this computer to this hard drive. It's now going to allow us to run this actual backup. So I'm going to click run now, and then this actual process will begin. So the carbon copy clone is now completed and we've managed to copy 351 gigabytes of data and it took an hour and a half, which is remarkably fast to be honest. That means that this hard drive now contains all the data that we need. We've done a successful backup. Now what to do with this computer? So since it won't boot and I can't load the recovery operating system on it, it's really time to do something more drastic. So. I will do a full restore on this computer. So that requires us to boot the computer into DFU mode and then to restore the operating system using my M1 Apple Silicon Mac to transfer the data over. So what I'm going to do here is to turn off the computer and then boot the computer into DFU mode. So the very first bit of preparation we need to do is to download the Apple Configurator 2, which you can find on the Mac App Store. So just download this. It's a free application provided by Apple and just download it on the host Mac. So I'm using my M1 Apple Silicon Mac, but it can be any Mac with a T2 security chip. So I'll open this application now. And we can now get started. So now that we have made a backup of the computer, it's time to do a restore of this operating system here. Now we can't get into the recovery mode, so we have to use another T2 enabled Mac like my M1 Apple Silicon MacBook Air 2020 in order to restore this computer's operating system. So the way to do that was we have to set this computer into DFU mode and we have to use a USB-C cable like this one here. This is the standard Apple charger cable here. We can't use the Thunderbolt cable. We just have to use a, a USB-C cable because they're, they're the only ones that are compatible for this particular job. I'm going to redo this DFU mode just to show you how this works. So what we have to do now is to turn off this computer entirely. So I'm going to press the bow button until this guest computer completely turns off. When it's off, then the DFU mode should disappear from that computer. So make sure it's off. Don't even hover over the power button until we're completely ready. Now, the key that we need to press in this particular instance is we need to hold down the power button for one second, and then we hold down the control option and right shift for a further 10 seconds, and then we let go of the power button. So once we do this key combination, we should go back into DFU mode. So normally I just like to count this out properly. So I hold down the power button, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of the power button. And now we are into DFU mode. So once we do this, it'll mean that all the data is erased. It'll be as if this computer has been reset back to factory settings. So once we've control clicked on this DFU icon, we have two basic options that we can try. So the first one that we're going to show you is called Revive. So it's under this advanced menu here. And if you revive the device, it basically reinstalls the operating system and preserves data if there is any. And I've actually already tried this and it hasn't made a difference to how this computer works. It's something wrong with it. So what I'm going to do next is to do a restore. So that's going to actually um, delete all the data and restore the operating system. So we're going to do this now. So just be aware that all the data is going to be destroyed. Make sure you have a full backup like I've already made here. This is going to take a bit of time because it's going to download the full operating system. So just let that run for as long as you need to. Make sure that the power is all plugged in on both computers. And it's going to do a full erase and restore back to factory settings now. We can see this progress so far. It's downloaded the operating system and this computer is now responding by with this progress bar here. So unfortunately, despite the fact that we were able to successfully initiate a restore from DFU mode, the computer kept crashing over and over again. And unfortunately, we were not able to get anywhere. So this particular MacBook Pro 2018 15 inch has gone back to Apple for a replacement or repair. Fortunately, we walk away with a working 
complete backup of the computer, which we're going to restore onto whatever replacement that Apple provides for us. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did make use of this tutorial, please leave a comment. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tech video.